So today we're going to take our first steps in blazonry and learn about the field, the background of the shield. Let's take a look. The field always comes first in a heraldic shield description in the blazon. Uh, we can, if you want to, make it explicit and say the field um, or on a field. We don't normally do that though. Most blazons you will just see start with um, the, the field itself. The simplest fields are plain colours. So the, here's a green field, um, ghouls, the red field, just a plain simple colour. What choice of colours do we have? Um, the Build a Shield from Parts page has quite a nice um, set of all the colours. You'll notice there's about, uh, let's see, there's just over 20 there. These are the the basic heraldic colours. There aren't really many more than these. That That is it. You, have, you do have about um, uh, just over 20 colours to play with in total if you want to stick to pure uh, British heraldry. Um, but there is there is quite a wide range here. Um, so there's a, a, a reasonable choice of things that you uh, you can do. However, obviously, uh, that's not a great number. And ideally, we'd like to have a bit more variation in our shields. So as well as the the basic colours, we also have what are known as furs, and these are patterns of fixed colours. There are three basic ones. Um, almost everything is a, is a variation on these. The three are ermine, potent, and there. Um, and that's all you need to use those. They just you just give them their names. They are patterns of fixed colours. Remember that we do have a, a visual catalogue, and if you go to the create page, create menu, and click on visual catalogue, there's various categories. If you navigate down, eventually you'll find your way to a page called furs, and you'll see the complete set of furs that we have here. So as I said, we've, there are our basic ones, ermine, potent, and ver, and almost everything else is just a, a variation on these with different colours or the patterns rearranged very slightly. The only exception here is to pisse, which is supposed to look a bit like um, corn husks. That's, what, uh, that's where that comes from. But those are the furs of a single pattern. So we can put on our um, on our shield. We we know that we've got twenty or so plain colours. We've got another ten or so furs. It's still not a huge number of uh, of different variations. Uh, if you want to make our shield really stand out from someone else's, so one thing that we can do. Uh, use what are known as treatments. These are very much like furs, except that you get to choose the colours and the pattern. Again, we can use the create menu, the visual catalogue under the create menu to find them. Um, but let's try a few out ourselves. The way that you specify them, there are, there are two ways to do this. We can say something like masoned uh, Ghouls and Sable, and if we draw that, we have a shield filled with a with a brick-like pattern. So notice that what we've done here is masoned is the name of the treatment, and then we've given it two different colours. Most treatments will need two colours. Um, the other way we can do that is to give the colour with the name of the treatment in the middle. And we can do it like that, and, and here's the same thing, but in gold. So there we've got a, a, a tincture, the name of the treatment, and another tincture. What are the range of treatments that are available? Let's look again at 
um, from the create in the, in the visual catalog. If you look at follow the menus down to treatments, um, there are treatments constructed from lines. Here's the masons that we've just used, um, fretty with overlapping lines, relage with overlapping square lines. Most of these have got pretty obvious names, honeycombed and, and maily like chain mail. There are also patterns where um, they're about half and half uh, between the two colours. Uh, Checky, lozengy, papillony, plumetti, and also a rather nice pied pattern here. Uh, an obvious question is, can we combine some of these treatments with the furs that we've already learnt about? Um, let's try that. Um, let's use um, Checky of 9, which just has slightly larger squares. And we can use, um, let's try ermine and ghouls. How does that work? Yes, that works fine. We can also do some quite nice things by using closely related um, types of furs. And we can get some nice effects like that by combining erminois and ermine. So there's some, uh, some nice effects that we can get here. So we've seen that we have uh, at least 10 different treatments and each of those treatments takes two colours. So that means we've got 10 times 25 times 24, which is 6,000 different possible combinations for the background of our shield. So we've already starting to build up a lot more choices. However, there are other things that we can do with the shield, uh, with the field on the shield, we can split it into one or more parts. These are known as divisions and each division can have a different colour. So let's look at pear pale, uh, sable and ore. There we go, we've split our shield into two more or less evenly sized pieces. Um, and given each one of those a different colour. How many different ways are there of splitting a shield, of dividing the shield? Well, quite a few. Uh, again, look in the visual catalogue. This is the, the list of major divisions, those that split the shield pretty much evenly into two parts. Um, you'll start to recognise a lot of these words, so anything that's diagonal tends to be known as a bend, Anything vertical tends to be known as a pale. Things that are horizontal tend to be referred to as infest sometimes. So we've now got a lot more choices about how we can pattern the field. We've got a whole range of different ways of dividing the shield. Can we use treatments and furs within. These, let's have a look. Quarterly ermine and ore, yes, that works, that's nice. So we're starting to build up more and more um, richness from with our, our expressive language on the field of the shield. We're going to have uh, other videos that we're looking in a lot more depth at divisions because there are many of them. Um, this is the, the complete list. Um, there are uh, divisions of, of multiple bars, the rather nice uh, gyrony divisions. I, I'm a big fan of those, quite psychedelic. Um, and lots of, of lots and lots of smaller divisions. We'll have a look at all of those in a future video and the variations and other things that we can do on those. So with the combination of colours, furs, treatments and divisions, we're up into the hundred thousands, if not millions, of possible combinations. So there's plenty of choice out there for you to design your shield and start developing your own work. I hope that's given you a much better appreciation of the field and 
various things that we can do with it. In later videos we're going to look in a lot more depth at divisions and we'll also start looking at ordinaries and charges. But that's a story for another day. I hope you found this useful and enjoy your blazoning. <music>